This is an overview of the basic operation of Filterstrom Neue. Filterstrom Neue's interface is based around this menu going down the left hand side. You simply tap on any button to see its contents and swipe back to go to your previous location. Certain buttons, like this help button, will show you an overlay with some more information or with some options. And if you don't know what something does, you can always tap and hold on the button to get a little description. I'll note right now that uh, any low frame rate you may be seeing is not present on the actual device. It's simply because I'm recording this video over AirPlay. So let's open up a photo. Now the first thing you'll notice when you open up a photo is that the interface uh, color scheme has changed. Filterstorm looks at uh, the colors of the image and chooses a scheme to match. If you don't like this, you can go to settings over here and see this option for black and white interface? Just turn that on. Let's turn that off for now. Um, at any point while you're editing, you can use two fingers to uh, zoom and pan as you would in uh, any iOS app. And at certain times when you don't have uh, a filter that you're applying, you can also use one finger to move it around. Let's go into the edit menu here. And I'm going to start by choosing saturation. And now you saw that there was a little overlay there that shows you which direction to swipe to change. So swipe up to saturate, down to desaturate. You can turn those overlays off uh, in the settings. So when you're done, you can use this check button to apply your change, this X button to cancel your change, or you can swipe back to uh, also cancel a change. There's also these two buttons here. This is blend modes, and this one is masking. I'm not going to be going into those buttons in this video, but there should be another video uh, that goes over masking operations. So let me swipe back to cancel that and go over here to brightness contrast. You can see there were two different arrows that time um, that indicates that you can move your finger in different directions to get different effects. So up and down to change brightness and left and right to change the contrast. At any point you can look up here at the top uh, to see the strength of the effects that you're applying. So let's go back and cancel that and go back again to our main menu. And look here at canvas. This is where you go when you want to crop, scale, straighten, uh, or rotate your image. You can see here's the cropping. There's a setting button up here if you want to set a specific aspect ratio of your cropping. Let's just cancel that. And for example, if you want, like to post to Instagram, you can use this make square button to quickly add letter or pillar boxing to the image. You can see now that it's a square. Let's go back um, and look here at effects. So these are more like uh, your vintage and one-click kind of effects. Uh, you can look at Tarka. Um, these can also be uh, adjusted strength by swiping up and swiping down. Let's just apply that in the check. Um, and when we're done, we can use this export button to save our image. I'll note that the image I was just editing is about 9 megapixels, so that's the approximate speed you can uh, expect on uh, an iPhone 5 editing uh, uh, image from that camera, for example. And you can save your image here.